Hey, good Wednesday afternoon. Just after 1230 is when we are recording this. Temperatures in Jefferson City at the moment in the mid 50s, and we're trying to get there across the board temperature wise, but we're fighting a little bit of a breeze out of the west that's going to turn more out of the northwest as we head throughout the rest of your day, really into the afternoon. That's going to become more and more of a factor. We're behind this cold front. Let me move out of the way. Off towards the east, it's pushing away, taking a little bit of activity with it as well. Of course, you saw some green here on radar. None of that really making it to the ground. A lot of dry air here close to the surface. Of course, you can still see we've got some snowpack there. We're picking up on satellite. Otherwise, we're looking at generally clearing skies. Less of that white showing up here on radar. Uh, more blue as we head into the rest of your afternoon. Right now, temperatures again across the board trying to get into the 50s. That uh, temperature I showed you on our on our woods basement system camera a little warmer. The actual airport readings coming in right around 50 degrees. So 48 in Columbia, 51 in Jefferson City. Generally warm off towards the south and west. Springfield, Branson, upper 50s, almost 60. You'll have to go towards Tulsa to actually jump above 60. We may get close in some areas to our south uh, here in Missouri. As we head off towards the north and east, temperatures drop dramatically. Some colder air in place. Of course, they've seen more cloud cover, and they've also got more snowpack uh, in, in that area as well. Winds generally, though, for us out of the west, as we look towards the north and west, winds are still more northerly, and we'll see more of that heading into your afternoon and evening. That'll drop temperatures a little bit tonight. Uh, and really set us back a little bit as we head in towards your Thursday. We're down into the 40s, back into the 50s for Friday, but we've got a big dip coming as we head towards the weekend where highs may not get out of the 20s for a few folks. So let's track it out hour by hour. Future track this afternoon, again, showing winds becoming more northerly. We keep skies clear. And we're dropping into the 30s by late tonight into the low 20s by early tomorrow morning. I should say mid to upper 20s. Some folks may drop into the low 20s, but generally all of us are below freezing as you head out the door tomorrow. So watch out for some slick sidewalks as we're still melting off some of that snow. We didn't have to deal with it this morning. That doesn't mean we won't deal with it tomorrow morning. Likely going to be a few slick spots early on on your Thursday. Thursday afternoon, though, we will pick up more wind out of the south ahead of our next trough off towards the north and west. That will bring temperatures by the time we get to the afternoon into the upper 40s. Some folks, especially towards the west and southwest, back in the low 50s. And we'll likely see temperatures hang pretty, pretty mild in the upper 40s as we head towards Thursday night. So we're not really going to cool off very quickly because, again, we're still picking up more wind out of the south. And we'll even add some cloud cover, which may help as well. And, of course, the chance for some showers late Thursday night into Friday morning. Friday morning is really when we're centering that chance for rain. And it looks like it's going to be the northeastern half of our viewing area. Area, but that's where we'll keep the chance for showers right now, and it's not going to last all day. It'll likely be out of here by the time we get to noon. That's when we're watching this cold front move through. Look at the wind out of the north here. That's really going to rush in Friday night. We'll still get to the 50s Friday midday, but Friday night into Saturday, we're dropping pretty quickly. Temperatures again Saturday are topping out in the upper 20s for highs. But Friday, this is again our best chance for rain off towards the north and the east. Those counties you see in yellow really about a 20% chance overall right now. But as we head uh, towards the south and west towards Pettis County, that's where things kind of drop off a little bit. Communities, again, really towards the center of mid-Missouri, towards the north and the east. That's where we'll see our rain chances grow. And we'll be monitoring this closely. We may bump up that 20%, but just know that's really the only chance for rain over the next seven days. Here's a look at your Jefferson City seven-day forecast. Again, temperatures just struggling to get out of the 20s into the low 30s for Saturday, but a nice rebound temperature-wise into early next week.